Hey everybody, welcome to Calabama Cooking with Chef Lorius, a California girl with an Alabama flair for the kitchen. It's so good to see you today. If you're already a subscriber, thank you for being with me again today. If you're new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and be sure to push the bell so you're notified every time there's a new video. Today is a quick and easy video. We're making up mashed potatoes. So you're thinking, mashed potatoes, why mashed potatoes? I'm telling you, sometimes the simplest things are the things that can really trip us up. So I'm gonna go quickly and we're gonna jump right in. I have two pounds of potatoes here that have been cooked and softened. I'm hoping you can see that. Now the first thing I'm going to do is just start gently mashing them up. Okay? And I say gently because I'm going to let the mixer do most of the work, but I just want to kind of get them started. Okay? Now, the key to mashed potatoes, in my opinion, is butter and milk. I'm going to add a stick of butter to this. And I have some heavy whipping cream here that I have warmed. If you put the whipping cream or whatever milk product you use in cold, it'll cool off your potatoes and that's where things start to go downhill. So I'm going to start by adding about a cup of this whipping cream. I've already pre-mashed up my potatoes. I'm going to take a spoon here and see this is softened butter. Mix them up like this just to get it all going, get everybody friendly. Okay, and then we're going to get some salt in here as well. Potatoes need a lot of salt. Thankfully though, by using salted butter and heavy whipping cream, we're already on our way. All right, so let's get these going. Into the mixer. And you're just gonna let these babies keep going and going until, see there? And I'm gonna add, drizzle some more heavy cream in there as they cook. Oops, almost got the camera, guys. See that? This is really easy to do. Now, if you like your potatoes a little stiff, you can stop at this stage. I like my potatoes to be, I don't like them firm, but I don't need them mashed up creamy. So this is some cheddar cheese, I'm sorry, some Colby Jack cheese I'm gonna put in here, sprinkle in about a cup of cheese. Cheese makes everything better, cheese and bacon do. So I put some cheese in there and a little more milk or cream, whatever dairy product you're using. And let's put this baby back on. Start it slow so everything doesn't go crazy. And the warmness of the milk and the warmness of the potatoes will help to melt the cheese. See that? And then after we take these, I'm gonna put them in a dish. We'll stick them in the oven for about 10 minutes or so just so the top can brown and everything can melt together and they'll be done. Now, the, before we put them in the oven, though, we're at the best part. We get to taste them. So I've got a handy fork here. Because, you know, mashed potatoes are the kind of thing you have to taste it to see is it like you want it. Because what if you, what if you thought it was right and it turned out it wasn't? You'd never forgive yourself. Oh. Ooh, that's good. And sometimes you get it right, straight out the gate. I'm gonna whip these a little bit more to get them a little creamier. Oh my God, the flavor is delicious. Okay guys, so we put our mashed potatoes in the oven on broil, 450 degrees for about 10 minutes. And look, they came out nice and golden brown on the top. And now look at this. See that? Oh, they look absolutely amazing. I'm going to taste them again because, you know, they might have changed how they tasted once they got in the oven. Who knows? I'd hate to find out at the wrong time. Mmm. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining me today. I could go on and on about this, but I'm not because it's too good. Thank you for being with me today. Again, if you're already a subscriber, welcome back. Thanks for being here. If you're new, go ahead. You got time, hit that subscribe button. Be sure to hit the bell so you know every time I put out a new video. Thank you so much for being with me today and happy cooking.